Hello Crusaders, thank you all so much for being here today. You guys already know just how much it means to me to have you guys here, have you guys take time out of your precious day to come click on my video. It really does mean a lot to me that you guys found value in my content to be here today. So thank you guys. Thank you Crusaders so much for being here today. Now I have a topic that I have been itching to talk to you guys about. It's, it's pretty interesting, it's pretty important, and it's really kind of exciting because I'm really itching to see what you guys have to say about this particular topic of discussion. So fasten your seatbelts, sit back, maybe grab a drink or a snack or something, and uh, let's just hop right into this discussion. So I got thinking on my way to work yesterday, I got thinking, should Call of Duty end? And it was a crazy epiphany, it was a crazy revelation, because, you know, I've, I've never really thought about the concept of Call of Duty possibly ending one of these days. You know, and it kind of made me ponder what would happen to the community, what would happen to Activision and this huge division of Activision that has made a super successful, super popular franchise that has brought them tons of money. What would happen uh, to the course of the entire gaming community if Call of Duty would end today? And I'm not saying that Infinity Ward, Treyarch, and or Sledgehammer Games should end. I'm just pondering simply the fact that maybe the Call of Duty franchise should end. If you think about it, right now all these development teams, they're bound by an age-old community that is currently thirsty for classic Call of Duty. You guys have seen after the after the infamous Infinite Warfare trailer, after the horrible showing it did being one of the most disliked gaming trailers of all time bought it or not over two million dislikes is a heck of a lot of dislikes and so it's something to take into consideration when thinking about uh, this topic and about this next upcoming call of duty you know so right now they're bound by all of these concepts of wanting a classic call of duty and everything if they end Call of Duty, they can start fresh with a brand new series catered towards expanding their fan base. Now, I'm not saying they should leave their fans of their classic games hanging out to dry, but they could expand their fan base into a whole different genre of gaming that we've never seen Infinity Ward, Treyarch, or Sledgehammer Games ponder on into uh, before. And so it'd definitely be interesting to see. If they end this franchise, then people will stop expecting them to do a certain thing. So right now, everybody is constantly expecting the same old thing. You guys know the age-old Call of Duty process, Call of Duty cycle. The new game comes in the first uh, first one or two weeks of November. You know, it's still pretty popular on through Christmas into January. Then by February, it starts to get a little stale. People start to get a little tired of it. And then by March and April, people start wondering, and the speculation videos start coming out, and the false leaks start coming out about the next upcoming Call of Duty, and people start wondering. And then by May, we get our first taste of the new Call of Duty with a very small, vague reveal trailer. Then by June and into July, we start to see multiplayer gameplay and uh, story mode information and different things. And then, of course, uh, by August, Black Ops 3 just set a new, a new tone of having a beta for their game come August or September and then of course by November the new game comes out and it all starts all over again. So people are currently expecting all these Call of Duty developers to do the same thing. If they got out of this franchise, got out from underneath it, people wouldn't know what to expect. And that leads me to say that the anticipation of seeing what Activision would have its former Call of Duty developers working on as a new project, that might be the boost that they need to start a new franchise. Some crazy ideas that uh, I was thinking of uh, that Infinity Ward, Treyarch, and Sledgehammer Games could try out. Um, I had some ideas when I was making up some notes for this video. I had some just some really crazy outlandish ideas that I know I'll probably get hate for in the comments, but it's okay. Uh, that's kind of what it's for, you know, to voice some very loud opinions. But I had some crazy ideas that I feel like might be something cool to see in the future. I have many times pondered an open world game made by a Call of Duty developer many times before because as you all know Call of Duty is known for their you know pretty easy campaigns you're instructed to do every last thing from firing the very last bullet to to uh, walking into a certain room it's very straight line it's very linear it's very uh, you know to the point the the, the storyline is gripping but you know there's not much to do it's just a straight to the point kind of campaign what if they expanded their whole storytelling experience into an open world shooter where you could do just about anything you wanted to do. I also thought of a, a first person shooter style MOBA similar to, and I know you guys are going to kill me for this comment, but similar to Overwatch. They've already kind of 
experimented a little bit with the specialist abilities with you know with the kind of role playing type aspect of of reaching kind of a, a different all these different kind of specialists and things you can do depending on which character you get into. So I wonder if what would happen if maybe they were, they would create a competitive first person style um, massive online battle arena type game. Also, I was also thinking about third person shooters. I don't know if you guys haven't heard this already. Sledgehammer Games, it was reported a while back that Sledgehammer Games actually were working on a third person Vietnam game that never finished production. They actually canceled it early on before it had a chance to uh, really be uh, revealed as to, you know, what was what was going on with this game. And so that obviously shows that Activision isn't totally against having their developers doing a third person a war type game so that's definitely something you could think about um, and so that's those are just a few ideas that I had um, for if Call of Duty if the Call of Duty franchise would end today and I guess one question I want to leave with you guys is uh, I'm, I was just wondering what would be some things that you would like to see the former Call of Duty developers do if and or when Call of Duty should ever end so that's something that I'm really looking forward to seeing in the comments below seeing what you guys have to say seeing what you guys would like to see and if you are completely against this video and don't want to ever see Call of Duty end then let me know that too in the comments that those those opinions are just as important to me as the opinions of something else that people would like to see I guess I've just been kind of at a loss for words because people have been um, just hardcore complaining about Call of Duty because they're not listening to the fans and you know they're going too far into the future and they got these bunny hops and everything <laughs> you know and so and so I've just been wondering maybe they should just completely blow away the community and end the Call of Duty franchise and you know maybe not all three of them would have to follow the same path maybe Infinity War could make a a competitive MOBA game and maybe Treyarch could make a make the the normal Call of Duty because they seem to be the ones that um, well not necessarily Call of Duty but you know what I mean something closer to Call of Duty because they seem to be the development team that disappoints people the least right now and so maybe they could kind of stay more along the same line as the you know original Call of Duty games and Sledgehammer Games could finally get their opportunity to make a third person game a third person shooter game that they've that they've been that they have obviously wanted to make in the past so you know there are a lot of opportunities and Call of Duty ending doesn't have to be a bad thing it could possibly be the thing that saves the community so that's all I have for you guys today if you did enjoy this topic and you thought it was interesting please don't hesitate to leave a thumbs up and if you dislike the video please feel free to dislike it as well but please tell me why in the comments below why you disliked it and what I can do to change about myself and about my content so you guys can come back for more videos I'd love to have you guys there but that will be all for this video go and have an awesome day Crusaders be blessed this has been Eli goodbye